In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to easily add leader stats to your game. So hop in directly into Studio, you're going to want to go into your server script service and you're going to want to add a brand new script. Now we're just going to rename this to leader stats so that we know exactly what this is for. Now inside of the script, we are going to need the player's service. So we're going to go ahead and get that service. Then we're going to create a brand new function and that is going to be called create leader stats. And that's going to accept a player, which is of course going to be a player. Now inside of this function, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable and that's going to be called leader stats. And that's going to be equal equal to an instance dot new. And what we're going to create is a folder and we're going to parent that to the player. The common way of parenting leader stats to the player would be literally like this. So you type leader stats dot parent, and then you set it to the player. But instance dot new actually accepts two arguments, the instance that you want to create, which is our folder, and also the object that you want to parent the instance to. So you don't actually have to type out leader stats dot parent. You can just put the player right here and it'll automatically be parented to it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to name this folder. So we're going to say leader stats dot name, and we're going to set the name to leader stats and make sure you spell it all correctly and it's all in lowercase now we can start adding the different values to our leader stats folder which will be on our little leaderboard at the top right hand corner of our screen so we can say local money equals instance dot new and we're going to use a number value and we're going to parent this number value to the leader stats folder then we're going to set the name of this number value to money and now the capitalization doesn't matter here we can do whatever we want and then we're going to set the value of money and this is going to basically be what the player starts off with so we're going to say they have zero money when they first log in now we can add more entries to our leader stats as well. So let's say that we want to display some gems on our leader stats as well. We can create a new instance, which of course is going to be another number value. And we're going to parent that to the leader stats folder. The name of this number value is going to be gems. And the value of the gems is let's just say five. The players will start off with five gems. Now, number values are not the only thing that we can actually add to our leader stats. If we wanted to, we could actually add a string value to this as well. Now, this is pretty uncommon, but I'm just showcasing that this is possible. So if we want to add a string value, we'll add that to our leader stats and then we'll set the name of the string value to team and then let's just set the value of this to blue for example so when players first join our game their team will be displayed as blue now all we have to do is call the create leader stats function on all the players whenever they join the game or if they're currently in our game before the script runs so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the players so we're going to say for underscore player in i pairs players get players do and then we're going to call the create leader stats function on the player then we'll also listen to the player added event and we'll connect that to the create leader stats function just like that. So now we can go ahead and start up our game and see if the leader stats works. And as we can see, when we load into our game, we have the leader stats created for us. So currently we have zero money because we set that value to zero. We have five gems because we set that value to five and our team is displayed as blue. Now, what if we wanted to reward the player with some money or maybe even some gems? What we'll do is we'll actually create a new script inside of the server script service and we'll rename this to money. Now inside of here, we're going to need to get the player's service once again. Then what we'll do is we'll create a function called reward money and this will accept a player. And then inside of this function, we will We'll create a variable for the leader stats and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to say player and then we'll use the find first child method on this and we will look for the leader stats folder now if we are able to find the leader stats folder then what we're going to do is we will create a variable for the money value inside of the leader stats. so we're going to say local money equals leader stats dot money so right here we're getting the number value named the money that we created and we put inside of the leader stats folder and if we wanted to we could annotate the type of this and say that this is a number value so that we know exactly what money is and now that we've annotated its type to a number value we now have a couple of different methods and properties that pop up which make this easier to work with so now we can actually modify the value of money and if we just want to add five to this we can say money dot value plus equals five and that'll add five to the player's current amount of money so now that we've created that function all we have to do is actually call this function and the way that we're going to call this function is we're going to actually use a while true do loop and we want to make sure that we add a task dot wait to this so that this is not running every single millisecond and then what we're going to do is we're going to loop through each of the players that are currently inside of our game and we're going to call the reward money function for that player so now that we have this set up we can go ahead and start our game and see if this works so upon starting it up we can see that our money is increasing by five every single second so now you know how to create the leader stats for the player and also how to modify their leader stats as well to increase or decrease their points. I also have another video which explains how to easily save the player's data so they can leave and rejoin and have the exact same data that they had when they left the game. There should be an annotation at the top right of the screen or a link down below in the description if you'd like to check that out. But with that being said, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If this video did help you guys out or you guys want to see some more Roblox development content, make sure you hit the like button, also the subscribe button, and turn the post notifications on if you want to get notified while I upload more Roblox development content. Additionally, I have a Patreon if you guys like to support me and get access to a lot of the scripts and the game files that have made in my past videos there's a link down below in the description and you guys can go and check that out with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video